Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she need her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And you packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. What's up, pretty mommy? Welcome back to another video and another vlog. Welcome back, you guys. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to press that bell so you're alerted anytime and every time that I post a new video. Welcome back, my girlies, to another video, another vlog. So today for this video, we are going to be doing apartment, setting up my apartment part Hello. two. what are you doing? Y'all know, like I said, gotta chime in. But we're doing a part, setting up my apartment part two, where I'm gonna show you guys more things that I have been getting and receiving for my apartment setup. Excuse what I'm wearing, by the way. I just have gym clothes on for the day because I'm gonna be working out tonight. So I just wanted to put it on and I am bare face again. I will be doing some really cute get ready's and I'm going to be working on my get ready's, y'all. By the way, this is just a little disclaimer. I will be working on my get ready's. I know y'all have seen me playing Jane since I've been on this move and since I've been in my new space. But honestly, y'all, one of the main reasons is because I'm in the gym constantly. Two, it's mad hot out here. Like, I don't even want to put a lick of me. I'm literally sweating right now because I had turned off the AC because I'm about to head out. But it's mad hot and I was about to head out, so I turned off the AC. Allergies are always on a thousand like I'd be having random attacks anywhere and it's so annoying So I just was like I don't need to wear the makeup. But anyway, like I said, I was about to head out and I received a Package which is my rug my rug finally came in. I'm about to show you guys it right now. It's actually Disinflating right now It's disinflating. I think this is so cool because the rug literally came super jam-packed and then it just flourishes into its size and just amazing another thing well let's let's i'm gonna show you guys now whatever so another cool and very cute thing that i just recently got for my living room decor is these two black throw-on pillows i think they're hella cute and they were so inexpensive y'all i have to tell y'all where i got them from i got these two from um at home Somebody had told me that I need to check out at home in the comments. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I love Hobby Lobby, but at home is like on another level. Like, I didn't even know where to start or what, y'all. But I'm going to bring you guys to at home again with me probably tomorrow. Because today I have to go get like the coffee maker and stuff like that. But anyway, that's something new for the decor. I also did get my TV mounted. Um, I'm a little upset though because the guy did tell me that this was going to be, you know, hidden and it's not. Um, and I don't even think he came prepared with the thing to do it. So he just sent me a link and was like, here, you could buy it. Boom. But it's like, I thought you were going to do it. Like, I'm already kind of regretting these color job because Legacy has already gotten the couch super dirty. So that kind of sucks. But, um... I think you can walk. I'm almost positive that you can wash the uh, pieces. So, Ugh. okay. Let's do this black rug, y'all. <gasps> That was hard to do because them little things right there they're still heavy as soft and cushiony and light as they look they are still heavy but this is what it looks like y'all I think it's so cute I cannot wait to have my table here my console some um, some plants my paintings the lights another light decor Oh, it look good. It look good in here. I ain't gonna even lie. I like she got it dirty, but it look good. It look good. This is the perfect size rug 
for a living room y'all well a living room with this space i definitely recommend a by 10 and i would recommend this exact one because as y'all can see it's like one of those fluffy ones but the cushion is there like that's one thing that i kept noticing on the amazon ones is like a lot of people in the reviews because let me tell you something read the reviews a lot of people in the reviews was like it's thin as paper this is not thin as paper this actually feels pretty cushiony and it feels pretty cushiony in my opinion it feels good i'm excited i can't wait to have everything in here set up which is why we still gotta do a little shopping today y'all um if you guys watched my last vlog well first of all if you didn't watch my last vlog of my morning realistic morning routine in the gym go check it out because i did talk um about this video in the last video and I mentioned how I I was asking for y'all opinion on the coffee maker. Oh my god, did my hair come out? What in the world is this? Asked you guys about coffee maker because in my building they do give out uh, Starbucks coffee, like complimentary. But it doesn't always taste the best. And I hate going down there because, I don't know, I feel like the people would just be staring and I don't got time for it. But... But I need to get my own coffee maker because I'll be wanting coffee, you know. Or what if I want tea some days? Or what if I don't, you know, just woke up out the bed and want my coffee? I don't want to keep going down there. Like, I, you just need your own stuff. So, I asked y'all on y'all opinion about a Nespresso regular schmegler coffee maker. And a lot of people were DMing me. And some people commented saying, just get the Keurig. If you feel like you want to do a, you know, like, because I said how I liked a brown sugar a brown sugar shaken espresso from Starbucks. That was like my go-to drink. It's like something I really, really enjoy. It's a perfect type of strong and sweet for me. Um, and a lot of people were saying, why don't you just get a, a milk brother or frother and just create your own drink like that. And you know what? I have done my drinks like that before and they do come out good. So I guess I will just do a Keurig and do that. If I feel like I do want to upgrade to a Nespresso one day, then i will but i'm cool with just coffee in the morning and a little creamer like i'm okay with that so i guess i will do that um and you guys are just gonna come along with me to go do that uh right now i am gonna take legacy to this um i guess it's like an indoor i don't know y'all i have to go there but i saw it on tiktok it's like a playground for kids and i guess you can get coffee there as well so we're gonna go do that we're gonna try something new um you know we're in a new city so i'm just trying to expand our the places that we go to just try to see more that's out here you know i have lived in texas before but and in this area i'm very familiar with this area to be specific but but i just want to like you know it's a little different when it's on your own and it's just me and my kiddo so i want to go to certain places that you know i am finding out about shout out to the girl that dm me saying giving me a lot of tips on you know me living out here and what i would probably like in her opinion shout out to you um i absolutely love when you guys are just like internet besties to me in that sense because you know your girl do be lonely out here like i literally know nobody you know what i'm saying like i don't know anybody out here i literally moved out here off of faith and for my daughter's best interest and you know just put mine i guess on the back burner in a way but you know like this isn't the best interest for me as well because it's a new city like i've told you guys in the first video nothing was really holding me back um except for my family and i had to just pick and choose like you know, do I want my daughter to be on flights every two weeks to see her father? Or do I, as an adult, need to do every two weeks? But it just kind of sucks, you know, because they're her family as well. And she's so used to them. But but it's okay because, you know, I will be taking care of flights to see them as often as possible. Because I do want that relationship for them to still be tight. So if we got to be in the Bay every month, then we will. Because that is, that is my goal, to be in the Bay every month. Um, let um, longest every two months but I plan to be in good communication and um, close relationship as always with my family because they're my people but anyway what I was saying was shout out to the girl that sent me the ideas I am going to be checking out those coffee shops girl and thank you love you girl
did you like uh, the indoor park place that I took you to? Huh? Did you like playing today in that with all those kids? The kids? No. Yes, you did. You had a lot of fun. No. So if you are a mommy that just wants to get the energy out your kiddos, that place that I showed you guys is actually a Baptist church but they have a free um indoor playground for the kiddos it is a little strict on the hours though but if you're like a work from home or a stay-at-home mom this would work perfectly for you and honestly legacy had hella fun like she really had fun she's been wanting to play with kids for the longest since we've been here and the only time she's actually had other kids around her has been when we went to kalahari with her you know with uh shakita's kids and stuff so it was really like i was like bro like where do i take my child yesterday we had went to the indoor um soft playhouse or like it was called kids empire and it was like a bunch of like it was like an arcade slash jump like trampoline play or not trampoline it was just like an indoor playground area for kids it's called kids empire and we went and it was just her by herself so i had to play with her and then I'll take her to the park, and then there's no kids. So then I was like, okay, let me try another thing. So I went, and luckily there was a lot of kids there, and they were all just super nice to each other, playing with each other. Legacy had a lot of fun. She was talking about sister and brother. Like, she was calling the, the kids and their sisters and brothers. Like, my baby was in need for a play date with somebody, okay? But we just got back, y'all. Let me turn on these lights. Um, I'm very excited because I went to the Mexican supermarket, um, and got a little bit of groceries, no, no, and we also got no, us a plate no, because Legacy no. really, really likes to eat rice and beans, and I don't really know how to make the beans. I know how to make the rice, but I'm gonna have to call my mom for the rice, I mean for the beans, and it was just like, we're hungry, we haven't ate since we left out. Um, I only have a bar in my stomach, so I'm pretty hungry now. So we're about to eat real quick, y'all, and probably watch a little TV, and then we're going to head out to go to At Home and Walmart because we still need to buy a couple of things for this apartment. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and eat with my child real quick. Um, and turn on that AC because it's hot. So we made it out the house. We're about to go get the coffee maker, y'all, and we'll see what else Target tells us we need. Right? Okay, okay y'all, so I'm looking at the coffee makers. Keurig is the one I said I was going to do. Um, but somehow they're cheaper. Oh, it's a lot of folks. Somehow they're cheaper on at Walmart. And I'm pretty sure this is the same one that this is. Yeah, mini single serve, mini single serve. I'm gonna let you guys know. in the house as y'all seen i got my little keurig um i did get me a regular schmegular one but listen like i told y'all the whole point of me getting a little coffee maker was to basically just stop spending the money on the coffee and just to have my coffee in the morning at whatever time i wake up you know what i'm saying can you turn on the light because like i said i don't want to keep going downstairs to get that complimentary coffee and i don't want to keep spending the money because most of the time i've gone to like dunkin donuts places like that and the coffee isn't hitting like i wanted to so i'm gonna make my own coffee at home like i'm used to like that was already my routine you know 
I got that. Um, I got this roller, which is why I'm waving it around. I got this at the dollar store. It's literally two little tiny ones for a dollar something. And since I put this rug underneath the couch, I noticed that it has like little black hairs from the uh, rug. So I'm going to just use it to clean it up real quick. And let's see if it gets the job done. I'm so sore from the gym. It's not even funny. It's working right away. Yay. It was just a little something that was bothering me today when I noticed it in the daylight. And I was like, yep, got to get me a lint roller. And it's just good to have a lint what roller. Can I try to? All right, that looks really good now. Also, my throw blanket does come in tomorrow from Amazon. So I'm excited about that. Today, I also, oh, look, this is the second one I was telling you. I think I'm going to keep this in either my room I mean my bathroom or my car just in case I need it I don't know maybe y'all need this um, I also picked up and found some goodies from the Dollar Tree again these are so cute for when I do Legacy's hair I think these are gonna be fabulous they're nice and thick too so honestly I could rock these two as well these might be a little too childish for me but these two really cute I got me some containers because I like to keep Legacy's hair clips and stuff like that in place and one of mine's broke and i got these for my makeup um or for any type of thing i don't know i only got two because i wanted to see exactly how i wanted to deck or organize um but i am going to order some from amazon for underneath the sink to have like skincare lotions hair product uh hair tools all of that stored away and organized but just wanted to show y'all these that the dollar tree has these and these are really handy mm -hmm. 